I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today, we're starting a new four-week series here on The Word Before Work called Arthur Guinness and the Call to Create. Let's start by reading 1 Corinthians 15, 58 together. It's one of my favorite verses, one of my favorite promises in all of Scripture. Here's what it says. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. I love it. Arthur Guinness moved to Dublin, Ireland at the age of 34, but he didn't come to the city empty-handed. He brought with him a strain of yeast he had used while mastering the art of brewing beer in his hometown of Kildare. It was that strain of yeast cells, believe it or not, that Guinness would use to create an innovative style of beer called stout. Perhaps more mind-boggling than the global adoption of Guinness's brew is this. According to Guinness's biographer, today, more than 250 years after Arthur founded his brewery, the original strain of Arthur's yeast is still at work and used to produce Guinness beer in breweries all around the world. In this very tangible way, Arthur's work quite literally lives on more than two centuries after his death. Of course, at some point, Arthur's strain of yeast is bound to die out. No business, not even the mighty Guinness, will last forever. But while his yeast is sure to fade away, some of Arthur Guinness's work and some of our work will last forever. That is precisely the point Paul is making in today's verse. After this super long passage about death and future resurrection in 1 Corinthians 15, Paul turns his reader's attention to the present, urging us to give ourselves fully to the work of the Lord because we know that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Commenting on this verse, N.T. Wright, whom Newsweek has called the world's leading New Testament scholar, says this, about our work. I love this quote. He says, you're not oiling the wheels of a machine that's about to roll over a cliff. You are not restoring a great painting that's shortly going to be thrown on the fire. You are not planting roses in a garden that's about to be dug up for a building site. You are, strange though it may seem, accomplishing something that will become in due course part of God's new world. Wright and Paul are saying that our work will last much longer than Arthur Guinness's strain of yeast. Our work has the potential to last into God's everlasting kingdom. What kind of work will last? The work of the Lord, as Paul says, the work we do in our vocations that is aligned with God's word and his agenda for the world. How should that perspective shape our work today? How did it shape the perspective of Guinness, whose life motto was, quote, my hope is in God? Those are the questions that we'll answer over the next few devotionals. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at TWBWFoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today, you can sign up right now again for free at TWBWFoundations.com.